Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're continuing on with the player GUI. And here's where we left off in the last lesson. We'd created the ability to toggle our GUI on and off. And now we have the basics in place in this script, we need to start assigning some values. So first things first, we need to deal with these variables right at the very top here. The return for the maximum and current stats. So I'm going to come here. In the void update, just below where we say if display GUI equals false return. And we'll say underscore and we want the return and we want the current player health. Now it's going to be equal to the player health script dot underscore current player health. We'll close the line off and into the comments. So we'll say return current player health and I'll just fix that typo there. And I'll say is equal to current player health, we'll open and close brackets and we'll say from player health script. So I hope this uh, makes sense to you. This variable is equal to the player health script and as you know we created the variable for the current player health here. And again, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and make the variables in the player health script for the maximum and the current health of type static. So we'll come back to the player GUI and we'll come to the next line. We'll say underscore and I'm sure you've guessed this time we want the maximum player health. And again, it's going to be equal to the player health script dot. And of course, we want the maximum player health. Enter the comments. Return maximum player health is equal to maximum player health. And again, we'll put in the brackets from player health script and we'll just copy this and we'll keep going and I'm just going to copy it three times for the moment and we'll come through and we'll change the variables so this time it's return the hunger so current player hunger and we'll change it here, current player hunger, and we'll return the max hunger, and we just need to keep going through and changing both the first and the last variable in every line. And we'll keep going for the player hydration, and there as well for the max and we're nearly done for this moment and we want the maximum player hydration and finally for the stamina so return current player's stamina and we'll say current player's stamina there and finally for the maximum. And once more here. And I'll just tidy up the comments and then we'll go through and change on where's applicable. So we'll change that to hunger and I'll just copy and paste this 
so below there and here and here as well and of course it's still from the player health script so we can leave that part as it is hydration again I'll copy and paste below here and twice more here and here and finally for the stamina and I'll just get rid of that uh, we'll just save that off for a moment and we're going to copy the last line now we will have to maybe make some changes to our flashlight script here so now we need the return and we're going to use the battery power so where are we current player battery power and as you can see when we come here we have no ability to access the current battery power so let's go through and have a look let's come we'll downsize this to our flashlight script and we'll make that full screen and we'll come to the maximum and current battery power and we're going to make this of type static and again here and we're actually going to change this to a float and we just need to put the F on the end here so now both the maximum and the current battery power both exist as a float and we'll save that off there we'll just downsize my new develop come to the console we'll check for errors again we don't have to worry about this one we'll um, be using this variable later which will automatically fix the error I'll just bring the comments back into line we'll save that off and we can actually close both of those scripts now so in this case we want the flashlight script and now we should be able to say dot and as you can see we can now access the current battery and the max battery and we'll change it here so we'll say returned and we want the maximum battery power and I've just forgot to close the line off there we'll change it to the flashlight script and again here for the maximum battery power bring the comments back into line and then we'll change the comment so we'll say return and rather than saying player stamina we'll say current battery power and in fact we'll just uh, in fact i'll not bother copy and pasting we'll just go through and type it in so return and got current there twice return current battery power is equal to the current battery power we'll get rid of the word stamina from and uh, this time we want the flashlight script so let's read this line return current battery power is equal to current battery power from the flashlight script and uh, let's go through and change this so return max battery power is equal to maximum and battery power we'll get rid of the word stamina there and we'll say from flashlight script and we'll save that off there and we'll close all this down I think we'll leave it here for this lesson we'll just wait for the script to recompile and check for errors like I said we don't have to worry about this one because that will be fixed automatic when we flesh out the rest of this script I'll just come back to this script for a moment and one last thing as you can see this is what I was talking about in the last lesson if the toggle GUI is active so we want to display the GUI 
then the script will continue reading down and read these lines. But if our display GUI is equal to false, then we do nothing and return because if we're not displaying the GUI, there's no way to actually, you know, be able to see them values on screen. Then if it doesn't, if there's no way to see the value on screen, there's no reason for the script to read these lines. But of course, once we activate the toggle GUI, it will then skip over this because the GUI, display GUI, does not equal false and it will read these lines again. So again, this is a way to optimize your coding. So as I said, we'll leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope to see you next time. And until then, as always, bye for now.